three thermostats on here. This is a safety thermostat in case the case gets too hot. So it went through the whole cycle, I guess, okay. So that was an hour and 15 minutes. This is in Sinolet Schematic. I got off a of manual. It's online. Notice the serial numbers up there. The one in this video that I've been looking at is a serial number 53,000 for a 120 volt model. But mine does have the green uh, cycling thermostat for the blower. It also has the red and violet thermostats, which are safety thermostats for UL. That's in case there's a relay or control or thermal couple problem. Okay, these three thermostats on this unit. This is a safety thermostat, L140. If this case with the cover and everything on gets above 104 degrees, it turns off the heater. Okay, this is TS, the limit thermostat to prevent overheating. It's on the lower end of the incinerator. It's an L300. There it is. That opens up when it gets to be 300 degrees. That's L300, part TS. Okay, the one toward the top is called ITS. That's an F130. It's called an inverse thermostat to control the blower. And what it does is that when it's above 130 degrees, it's going to kick on and turn the blower on. So after the heater, which is those two wires, after that's completely been commanded to be turned off, the blower is going to stay on uh, until it cools down the incinerator. And so that's an F-130 right there, and it's called the inverse thermostat to control blower. This keeps the blower going until it comes down to 130. So if the blower was continuously running for, you know, hours afterwards, this guy would be one that could be stuck. So that's an F type thermostat, which means it closes when it gets hot. That's what F means. These are an L, which means it opens when it gets too hot. It's a 300 degrees. And then there's a 140, so it's got two fail-safes on there. I believe those in, are in series with the uh, heater. Uh, that's probably for UL requirements.